Hi guys, today's video will be about accounting standards and principles. So the objectives today are to understand the background of accounting principles and to outline the qual qualities and characteristics of financial information. So let's move on to the background. So G GAAP, or Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, um, are constructed of authoritative standards. So it's things that you have to stick to, or the rules and also the conceptual framework okay so this plus this um, adds up to the generally accepted accounting principles okay so what are authoritative standards um, from I IASB or the International Accounting Standard Board um, they provide a foundational set of international accounting standards and then AASB, or the Australian Accounting Standard Board, uses these and adds onto them um, necessary principles or standards that are specific to Australia. And then we have con the conceptual framework, and that is developed by um, accounting professionals, and they are used to guide accountants when they prepare and present their financial statements. Okay, so uh, what do they explain? Firstly, they explain some principles that we need when preparing our financial statements and also as well as um, some general concepts that we'll need okay so they created SACS or the statement of accounting concepts and there are four SACS well there were originally four SACS so SAC 1 so definition of reporting entity so what is it then we have um, SAC 2 it, pro it provides a statement about the objective of general purpose financial reporting SAC 3 um, provides um, a statement about qualitative or qualitative qualities of financial information. And then SAC 4 gave the definition and recognition of elements in the financial statement. Okay. But however, during recently, um, the AASB has incorporated SAC 3 and 4 and made that an authoritative standard in the um, in the Australian accounting standards and now it's called the framework for preparing and presenting financial statements and now we have to stick to information provided in this state or in these previous SACs 3 and 4 okay so we're gonna go move on here so the application of um, generally accepted um, accounting principles it varies between accounting entities the problem that this creates is evident when we try to compare financial statements of different accounting entities. So for example, um, the generally accepted accounting principles are going to be used differently in every single accounting entity. So um, of course they'll use them differently. However, the problem is when we try to use, um, when we try to compare one to another, and because they are so differently, um, they, diff they use accounting principles differently, it makes us really hard to um, for us to compare it. So then at the end of the day, we need to strike a balance between giving um, accounting entities flexibility to use these accounting principles, but then also we need to be able to compare them at the end of the day. Okay, so the qualities and characteristics of financial information um, is gonna be objective number two. So that's SACS three and two. Um, so that's the qualities or and as well as the purpose of financial reporting. So uh, SAC two, the purpose of financial reporting, its ultimate objective is to provide information about the financial position and performance as well as cash flows in a way that use, allows users to make informed economic decisions, okay? So the users are suppliers, we have our customers, government, shareholders, as well as internal management. Okay, so uh, what are the underlying assumptions of preparing and presenting financial statements? Well, number one is going to be our accrual accounting. So therefore, we're gonna record the substance of the transaction. And number two is gonna be going concern. And that means that um, all the values portrayed inside our financial statements are going to be um, sh they're going to be related to um, the company's ability to stay relevant or stay afloat in the future. However, if they are going bankrupt, the values inside that financial statement need to be liquidation values. And then lastly, 
So we'll ha move on to the qualitative characteristics. So the big four, the first one is understandability. So it has to be not so complex so that people that should know how to, um, oops, sorry, so that people that should know how to read um, or understand our uh, accounting statements or financial statements, they should be able to understand it. It doesn't mean everyone needs to be able to understand it, just the people that should know are able to. Okay, then we have relevance. So that means um, it, the information should assist users in predicting and confirming predictions and enable uh, for, that, for it to be able to do that. Um, there needs to be materiality. So if it is material in a way that means it's, um, it's a larger and important effect on the financial statements, it must be included. And then we have reliability. So can I trust the information? That's what reliability asks. And that's um, affected by faithful representation. So what's um, on the balance sheet, is that true and fair? Then we have substance over form. So this means um, it must show the economic reality of what's going on. Then we have, we have neutrality. So it must not be biased at all. We have prudence. So it must not overstate our assets or revenues and must not understate our liabilities and our expenses. And lastly, it needs to be complete so that all information is already there. And then at last, we have um, comparability. So can I strike a difference or compare uh, with other financial statements? We need to be able to do that at the end of the day to see how well we're doing against other people. And then lastly, the trade-off is, of course, relevance and reliable. If it's relevant, usually it's, if it's really re relevant, usually it's not really reliable because um, the information is really current and hasn't been proved yet. Whereas um, if it's reliable, usually it's already been proved in the past. However, it's not relevant for our current decision because it's old information. Um, yeah, and that's the end of the lecture, uh, end of the video today, guys. I hope you learned something. Thank you. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit spoonfeedme.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.